Greetings, nerdlings, and welcome to Amalgam Nation Presents World of Lawcraft, Herocraft, Veriza Windrunner Edition. Veriza is a member of the prominent Windrunner family of the High Elves. Her elder sisters, Illyria and Sylvanas, were Ranger Generals of Silvermoon City. She lost a younger brother, Lyrat, and has at least one other brother. Her family lived at Windrunner Spire in the tranquil forest of Quel'Thalas. During her early career, she was assigned by her superiors to escort the Mage Ronan to his ship at Hasek. This simple mission soon turned into a harrowing journey into Grim Batal, where she eventually aided the Mage in destroying the Demon Soul and freeing the Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. During this mission, Ronan and Verisa fell in love, and they eventually married. Following the success of the mission, Verisa was asked to act as an alliance ambassador by King Tyrannus and the current Tor. She and Ronan were tasked with touring the alliance and reminding everyone that there were other threats in the world besides orcs that would have to be faced sooner or later. Along with Ronan and Crassus, Verisa was among the few well-known survivors of the scourge that destroyed Lordaeron, Dalaran and Quel'Thalas after the corruption of Prince Artus. The rest of her family was not so lucky. They were one of the hardest hit by the Scourge invasion into Quel'Thalas. Sylvanus was killed by Artus and raised as a Banshee in his service, later becoming Banshee Queen of the Forsaken. The sister's grandfather had to battle his own son, their uncle, after he was turned into an undead. A younger brother was torn to pieces by their older brother, who was then himself burned with the rest of the Scourge by elven resistance fighters. While she and her husband Ronan were preparing for the birth of their twin offspring, Girmar and Galdaran, Ronan was once again summoned by Crassus for help. As a reward for Ronan's courage, Nosdormu allowed Ronan to return to Verisa at the moment she went into labour to ensure he would not miss a moment of the twins' lives. Nosdormu also offered the children the friendship of the bronze dragonflight. A human named Jalia assisted in the birth. Her cousin Zendaran, a blood elf who hated humans, tried to kidnap her children as he believed the offspring of a high elf and a human mage would have a lot of magic power. He failed in this attempt. She appears again in the novel Night of the Dragon, where she braved the depths of Grimbatal seeking revenge on Zendaran. Zandaran sought to steal the demon soul, possibly as an alternate magic source, having failed to take Darganax or as a secondary objective. The fell creation of Deathwing that had been destroyed by Ronan years earlier. He would have pulled it off if not for Varisa's intervention, which resulted in the destruction of the demon soul and of Zandaran himself, when the stolen staff of the Naru touched the artifact. Varisa also assists Eridi, a Draenei priestess, in destroying Darganax as redemption for Zandaran's murder of Eridi's comrade. In the novel Jaina Proudmoore, Tides of War, she, Ronan, and some of the Cairn Tor, along with many Alliance members, assist Jaina Proudmoore in protecting her beloved city, Theramore, from the destruction of the Horde. They had won the battle until Garrosh used the Focusing Iris, the magical artifact of the Blue Dragonflight, to obliterate Theramore. Ronan, at the last minute, opened a portal and shoved Jaina through, telling her that she was the future of the Cairn Tor. He called the mana bomb that was fueled by the focusing iris to himself, so it would not hurt Verisa, who was looking around for Thalen Songweaver, who had betrayed the Kirin Tor during the war. Ronan succeeded, and Verisa was not harmed. The only survivors of the mana bomb that rained down on Terramore were Jaina, Calico's leader of the Blue Dragonflight, Verisa, Chandra's Feather Moon, and their scouting parties. They found that Ronan had died. Jaina took over his place as leader of the current tour. Thank you for watching and as always remember play the game and game to play.